how do we start to recognize and move forward the healing process from all of this trauma we may have sustained? Usually it's, as you say, AJ, it begins with uh, some kind of suffering, a divorce, your partner cheating on you, an illness, loss of a friendship, addiction, a mental health challenge of some kind. So usually there's some suffering that makes us want to say, well, why is this happening? So that, that's the first question. You know, and unfortunately, when most people go to physicians, nobody guides them to the essential source of their suffering. They'll, gi they'll be given a diagnosis maybe, but nobody's going to say, you know, this diagnosis doesn't really explain anything. It describes it, but it doesn't explain it. Take an example, I often use depression. So somebody's mood is low and they have poor sleep and they're socially isolating. So the word of the doctor says, oh, your, social, your mood is uh, low and you're isolating socially because you're depressed. And you can say, well, how do you know I'm depressed? Uh, because uh, you're socially isolating and your mood is low. But why is my mood low and why am I socializing? Because you're depressed. <laughs> well, how do you know that I'm depressed? You know? So these diagnoses, they don't explain anything. They describe them. But that's where most of medicine stops, is it some description, but not an actual explanation. Even if there's inflammation in your body, such as there is in autoimmune disease, like multiple sclerosis or rheumatoid arthritis, why is there inflammation? And now you have to look at that person's life. What inflames, what causes inflammation in the body? Stress and trauma cause inflammation in the body, as do certain chemical agents and so on and so forth. So the diagnoses don't explain very much, they describe them. But so people usually begin on this journey by some kind of suffering, and then they have to ask themselves, well, why am I suffering? And then I would ask them, what do you believe about yourself? What do you believe about, you, about your life? What stresses might you be generating for yourself without even meaning to or knowing that you are? What extent are you in touch with your needs? What happened to you in childhood? What do you believe about the world? All these questions pertain to your physiology because scientifically you can't separate the mind from the body and therefore your emotions and your unconscious beliefs that have a lot to do with your physiology. So how do people do that? Well, they go see a therapist, they read any number of books, including mine. You start looking into it. You start talking to your family, what happened? If you're talking to your family, you start asking questions and you don't assume that there's something intrinsically, intrinsically wrong with you. I just conducted a workshop this weekend called Your Illness Tells a Story. And so your illness tells a story. And what is the story that my, my illness tells? That's the question.